Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no All right, y'all, season three has been coming with the drama, with some joy, with intriguing storylines, difficult and complex plot points, and more. And recently, the All-American showrunner, NK, sat down with TV Guide and did an interview to talk about the rest of the season. In particular, what happens now that Olivia has stolen this tape and everyone has to move forward? How would they be affected? Let's talk about her interview. Shout out to y'all before I jump into breaking down her interview with TV Guide. Shout out to y'all. I think like 50 of y'all literally have DM me this article, um, this interview, and I love it. Like the fact that y'all keep me so informed and you want to make sure that I have all the information that I need, I just greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I just wanted to take a second to make sure that I shouted y'all out and just say thank you. I am so grateful that you are here. And if you're new, I'm Erica Vane. I post new All American videos videos every day sometimes twice a day and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe we have the best community on the internet we have the best conversations the comment section is lit we connect with one another and it's awesome like it's it's truly an awesome place to be yes i'm biased because this is my channel but i promise you you are going to love it here you should really really join us okay so again this jumping into the interview that nk did with tv guide um and if you haven't already seen it i will link it in the description box down below you guys know i do character breakdowns episode breakdowns prediction videos synopsis breakdowns and i try to also cover any information that comes out in the media about the show so when you know there was an article done and they were pegging Spencer and Olivia as toxic. I actually talked about that article, gave my opinion about that. Um, and when our interviews like this happen, I will also give my opinion. I will jump in, I will break it down. I will dissect it so that we can all have a conversation around it. So, um, just know that there's always multifaceted coverage of all American. And if you're really, really obsessed with the show, this is a wonderful place for you to be. Now let's get into this conversation because NK said a lot and I don't think, I think some of y'all's Bolivia or specifically, I think some of the Olivia stands are going to struggle with the rest of the season because you guys have kind of, to me, you guys have kind of struggled or the super stands. Let me say that the Olivia super stands have really struggled this season with like making excuses for a lot of her poor decisions and not necessarily holding her accountable and for me it wasn't until episode nine where we actually got to see her hold herself accountable we saw spencer push back and then we get to see her actually apologize that then i started to see the the wave turn right and people were just like oh okay so she was wrong in this way because for weeks y'all for weeks when i would point out that olivia did something wrong or how something was selfish or manipulative i would get dragged y'all i was getting dragged in these YouTube streets I was getting dragged in these Instagram streets I was getting dragged all over the place just because I feel like a lot of the Olivia fans struggle with registering that she's a whole person and very flawed this is Olivia season but this is not Olivia season to be set up on like a pedestal as some type of princess and to be exalted right like we are really getting to see the dynamicism behind a very complex and flawed character and I don't have a problem with celebrating her giving her flowers but then also saying sis you tripping and I'm looking forward to the point in which a lot of the other fans do as well because Chow NK is basically laying it out for us that Olivia still in this body cam footage is going to have major ramifications moving forward and it's going to have major ramifications for everybody like even people that we did not expect to be affected by her still in this footage are going to be affected all right jumping into this interview the interview asks let's start with Olivia releasing the body cam footage in terms of the case that is really really bad so what happens next after she's blown this up? And NK responded, I mean, literally she did it. Let's just say there are going to be major repercussions to what she did. There's going to be a fallout both personally and within the Baker family and more publicly with regards to justice for Tamika Pratt and the case and all of that. She opened a can of worms. 
if you haven't already check out my should olivia have stolen that body cam footage video because i go into depth about why her stealing the body cam footage was a problem or her stealing it and releasing it there are two major red flags that i saw that create intense problems um but then also in that video i talk about the ramifications for her family i talk about the ramifications for her relationship with laura like i really go into depth in reference to what i feel like these major repercussions are and i talk about how it's not just so simple like yes we need justice yes we need you know a, a even playing field and this footage is very valuable by way of actually showing what really happened but there's a flip side to that where this could really backfire and i think that what's going to happen is we're really going to see that even though olivia had the best intentions and wanted to do right that this is actually going to cause more harm and you know nk can't give us any spoilers because then it would be no point in having the rest of the season but i think that that's what she's alluding to in this interview or in this particular response to this question and child it's going to get super super messy um even just honing in on what she says next because they go on through with another follow-up question to that question so let's talk about that the interviewer says is the pressure and attention that will undoubtedly be coming her way after releasing the tape going to test her new sobriety and nk responds the truth is as a recovering addict and as a recovering alcoholic it's a daily battle for her whether it's high pressure situations or it's just she has school the next day Every morning she has to wake up and make an active choice to stay sober and to make a choice to just to get through the day. It's a day at a time thing. For Olivia, her survivor's guilt over her similar situation in terms of driving a car under the influence and as she says so clearly in the episode, Tamika actually did the right thing which is the minute she realized that she was under the influence she pulled over and tried to sleep it off olivia kept driving and put lives in danger including hers and spencer's and got to walk away because of the privilege of who her mom is for her that survivor's guilt living with that and not doing anything about it is almost more dangerous to her sobriety than the can of worms and that's something that i definitely wanted to highlight in this because we get nurse joy in this episode who mentions like her fixating on something could be also a problem or could also just be her addiction manifesting in another form that's outside of a substance abuse like if she gets too hyper focused on a particular issue or a particular thing that could still be present to be a problem but also like nk mentions her survivor's guilt and her guilt around her privilege could also be a thing that really helps disrupt her mentality or the healthy mindset that she needs to be able to go through a full and healthy recovery and the fact that this is all happening right now after she did have a very similar circumstance in recent weeks it just heightens everything and i know people were pissed at me on instagram because i said like I could imagine Olivia and Spencer not like getting together and pursuing a relationship for the next two years and people were pissed about it like oh you're just trying to look at it like real life and I'm like well yeah part of it is real life and it's drama but also in real life it takes a lot longer for an addict to get to a very very stable place and because of all of these things that are happening it makes it a lot harder it makes the journey to healthy stability and sobriety consistent sobriety a lot harder so again time lapses and things like that will happen in you know a series but i definitely feel like it could be a while before we see olivia in an actual like committed relationship because she has so much to unpack and deal with like olivia is struggling with her sobriety from pills she's struggling now with alcoholism because that was something that she reverted to in lieu of going back to pills when she fell off the wagon she's struggling with her identity and her blackness and i talk about that in a few videos in reference to figuring out where her place is in the world and figuring out who she is spencer coming into their house spencer coming into their world provided a new a new part of them that they didn't even know existed and they're still unpacking that then we have you know the injustice that are happening to black people and specifically you know the murders of black people and her dealing with that olivia has hopped into her activism bag there are so many things that she is dealing with so many fights that she is fighting at one time that a relationship needs to not be one of them like that is just that could become the cherry on top of a, a very non-stable cake 
and that's all I'm trying to say when I communicate those things so if you feel some type of way one if you feel some type of way about the things that I'm saying in any of my videos or on social media understand also that this is my platform and I'm communicating my thoughts I'm open to have a conversation with anybody about things but when people go out their way to put words in my mouth or to say I mean something that I did not say or I did not mean to me you're just wasting your time it's like go if you feel another way you have a platform as well go talk about that on your platform but this video isn't about me um I'm so glad that NK responded the way that she did to this question because I think that it really helps drive home the idea of like y'all this is not easy like while we see on TV it seems like Olivia has bounced back right since episode nine and she's looking a lot healthier she's making better decisions she's leaning on her support system but it's still a battle every single day don't forget that the interviewer goes on to ask who else is the tape going to affect and nk responds so eloquently it's going to be tough for all of them in the baker family because it has repercussions for laura and the case it has repercussions for olivia personally because it's going to have repercussions for spencer and billy and the entire crenshaw community which is where tamika came from they're going to be feeling the ripple effects of this for a while and y'all this just confirmed for me how serious of an offense that this is and how it's not as simple as Olivia doing this one act and now she's helped the case or she's helped bring justice to Tamika's murder or anything like that it literally like NK said earlier opens up a can of worms and puts everybody in a very um a very precarious place that they're going to have to deal with i talk about this in my let's talk about laura baker video so if you haven't seen that be sure to watch it after this video it will be linked in the cards above description box down below but i talk about in that video the relationship between olivia and laura and what is going to happen now that this has happened because ultimately aside from olivia stealing government property and releasing it she betrayed her mother's trust and that's going to have a personal effect like no other. Um, and then also, I think this is something that I'm going to talk about when I make my video about identity and specifically talking about Jordan and Olivia in reference to their blackness and how they identify and things like that. I think something that also is going to be a thing that might pop up when it comes to talking about how this affects Spencer and Crenshaw is... Olivia's survivor's guilt, Olivia's privileged guilt is also having her make really bold decisions to try to like make up for this thing, right? That she can't, she's trying to atone for something that she really just can't atone for. And sometimes it puts people of privilege in a place to overdo it and to ultimately compromise the people that you're trying to help because you're trying to just be of so much service. And I think that that's what, that's what she's kind of alluding to here in that some of her efforts even though the intentions are going to be great and they're they're going to hurt more than they're going to help and then that conversation is going to play out as well and speaking about olivia and spencer i'm so glad that this interviewer did not let nk go without touching upon their relationship asking the question olivia and spencer had hit the brakes on their relationship after the car accident is this going to bring them closer together or pull them farther apart and nk responds spencer and olivia care about each other they are two people who love each other but also recognize that getting together now while they are both dealing with healthy representations of themselves and conquering their demons is a bad idea they put in the work over the season to be self-aware and especially spencer with therapy this season to be aware enough to be like oh i do need to put up boundaries and make me whole and healthy before i can be a good partner to someone else so we'll see that they're finding and navigating their way around their feelings for each other and their friendship for each other which is what it all started as there's always going to be their solid foundation while also trying to continue to work on the healthiest versions of themselves y'all this was one of the most like this is the answer that i just really i was so frustrated with but i get it she can't tell us she can't tell us what's about to happen with them um but to me if i'm just going to interpret or say what my perception is from her answer I don't think that we're going to see Olivia and Spencer get together this season. I've been saying that for a while, though, actually. Um, I don't even know what it looks like at the beginning of season four. I think that we are going to see them um, navigate their friendship, figure out what it looks like to get to a really good place foundationally back to their really, really tight friendship. 
Um, but to me, that is going to be the focus in themselves being whole. And then they both have so much going on. I think that they kind of miss their time and it's going to be a minute before their time comes back around. Even with NK saying, um, you know, there's always going to be a solid foundation while also trying to continue to work on the healthiest versions of themselves. I think that that is the priority. And while we want Bolivia, like we need Bolivia, everybody wants Bolivia. That might not be the best thing health wise for either one of them right now. And you know what? I'm not even going to continue to reiterate that because a lot of y'all get y'all's feelings hurt when I say this type of stuff and it's not to hurt your feelings. I just really want to try to prepare you and to temper, you know, your expectations because some people get really, really down and not seeing them together. Um, but I definitely can see that we're going to experience a little bit more of them just kind of like skirting around the edges with each other having a flirtatious energy knowing that they want each other but it's not necessarily going to happen i would not be surprised if other people start to enter the picture and i'm just going to leave it on that y'all could definitely tell me in the comment section down below what you think about nk's response to this in particular like this question in particular with spencer and olivia and i also have a video of where do olivia and spencer stand and i made that video after episode 11 before episode 12 so go ahead and check it out if you haven't already and that gives you the full breakdown of like what i think where i think spencer and olivia are at right now and where they're going in the near future also in the interview, NK touched upon some joy moments. They have an episode that she's dubbing the Friendsgiving episode, which is all about the friend group coming back together to welcome patients back home off of tour and to basically get back to where they were at the start of season three or like maybe at the end of season two. Uh, patients wants to see their friend group back together, back into a healed place. So that will be the moment that we get to see all of them together. And she, NK says that that comes towards the end of this season or in the latter half of this season. So we can definitely look out for that and the joy moments that are going to come in that episode. It's probably going to feel a lot like the cabin episode, but just in a happier place. So it's not going to be a bunch of bombs dropping, but it's just going to be maybe recalling the great friendships and flashbacks to the amazing moments and having a time where people remember the best parts of their relationship. So we probably will see Coop and Spencer reunite in this episode. We might see Spencer and Layla get to a really um, cordial place in this episode. We already know that Layla and Olivia are going to get to a point of actually interacting again so we can definitely look forward to that and that's something that NK alluded to in this interview and then also the final thing that she's really talked about was Billy and Principal Carter and that they're going to have a conversation she says that is coming up very soon and the ripple effects of that aren't quite what everyone is going to think that they are what we will find is that sometimes the greatest enemies with some conversation and understanding can actually turn a corner. We're going to see new and interesting insight into both Billy and Carter and their interaction with each other. And y'all, I'm here for it. I'm here for Billy taking accountability for beating the hell out of Carter because apparently he did it. If you haven't already, I actually did a video about that as well because I definitely think that we're getting Grace and Carter together. And I did a video about that. So you can check that out. Link's in the cards above, description box down below. And I mentioned Billy a little bit. I also did a video on Billy asking, is he suffering from CTE? So if you wanted to dive a little bit more deeper into what Billy got going on, you can watch that video as well. Again, linked in the cards above, description box down below. Um, I could totally see them getting to a point of being okay because Billy just needs to apologize. Billy needs to communicate that he doesn't know or remember what happened. I definitely think, because a lot of y'all have been putting this in the comment section of my videos, and I agree that... Um, he might have spazzed on Principal Carter when his mom died. He might have just lost it. And that might be a, a, a event or a mindset that he um, that he doesn't remember because it was really in trauma. So I definitely could see that happening. And 
seeing the card that we have recently seen in episode 11 i think that if billy is truly accountable and apologizes sincerely that he will forgive him especially because carter wants to get in with grace now so i definitely think that they're going to turn a corner and i'm looking forward to seeing that all right y'all and that is my breakdown slash discussion of nk's interview with tv guide i will have the interview linked in the description box down below if you want to go and read the full thing for yourself i just pulled out the major points that i kind of wanted to talk about and now it's your turn tell me in the comments comment section what did you think about the interview what are you expecting to see in the rest of season three what are your thoughts on the show so far who's your favorite character tell me all of that and more if you're new here i'm erica vaney and i post new all-american videos every day sometimes twice a day and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe I have my All-American playlist link right here. If you missed any video, you can catch up. Or if you're looking for a new show to watch because we are on another All-American break, I got two suggestions for you right here. Get into it, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next amazing All-American video. Bye.